Well, Liam, I know you have a, a bit of involvement with this team and a bit of involvement with tonight. Does it get a bit harder as you get a bit older? No, Tom, it doesn't. <laughs> it gets easier as you get older, to be honest with you. Like, look, where would you want to be have a night like tonight? You know what I mean? It's, it's fantastic. And, uh, you know, to see so many young lads that, you know, I've been involved with minor teams for a few years, and to see the young lads that you saw at 16 and they came in to start training and then to come out and see them going up in the heavens for a high ball and beating the player full back as an all-star and putting the ball in the back of the net. Jesus, like, where would you get it, like? So, I mean, this is what we all are involved in the game for. You know that, Tom. You know, this is what we're all involved. And it's so hard to get these special nights, but sure, tonight was a really, really special night. And delighted for our, our fans. I think we've failed them over the years because we haven't been keeping that hurling going and keeping ourselves at the top. And so it's fantastic to do it. And it's a great night. In great night to be a Wexford man. Yeah. And I think, well, it was one of the greatest nights I think ever, probably, in, well, it was the greatest night in Wexford Park yeah. ever. You'd know a good bit about it. Um, managing expectation yeah. has been a challenge for you as a manager. Oh, yeah. Is it going to be a big job for Liam now? I think we've got to be grounded. I mean, realistically, like realistically, we uh, we're an emerging team. We're a developing team. The under 21 is nearly so it's so important to try and maybe see if we get to an Ireland final. In 21, we're playing Galway next, and it'll be hard. But progressively, you'd like to think that the 21 and senior will go together in tandem and move up along. So as we keep that growth and development of all the players, and that we keep the squads together, I think that's very important. And if we do that, there's no question we're going to emerge again. Uh, and you know. We say with Kilkenny and, and Tipperary and all that. I think we're we're getting to the stage now where we can cope with those teams. But I wouldn't be saying that like we're now going to be winning our Waterford will be absolutely licking their lips about this. If I was in Waterford saying, geez, lads, we got the result we want. We got Wexford to be on a hide, to be gone mad down there. This is the time to take Wexford. And Waterford will be a whole new ball game. And they will be so driven because I would say they never wanted to meet Claire. They wanted to meet us. And that's it. So look at that's another step for us, step up again. So hopefully we can do that. And I have great faith in the lads, I think they've learned an awful lot today. I think they've learned more today. You can play practice matches here, you can have intensive training amongst yourselves, you can't buy. The great thing about, you can't buy what we had for two weekends. The great thing about this was, the draw was a fantastic result now, the one in Clare, because we won tonight. If we hadn't won tonight, it would have been, we left it behind us, and we would have left it behind us. So the draw was fantastic, we got two games against the Ireland champions, and it's Armour's numbers. But if we, if, we, if we relax it all before Waterford, and get beaten by Waterford, it'll be a bit of a downer. I don't think we will, and hopefully we won't. Yeah, I suppose the other thing I was saying, Liam, is that uh, from a Clare perspective, yes. I know that you have a, a, a great yeah. affinity with Clare. Yeah, yeah. I suppose, look, at, we, can, we can't be feeling sorry for everybody, but no, no. I suppose you'd have preferred to beat somebody other than Clare tonight. Well, I would anyway, because I played for Clare myself, and my father was a Clare man as well. And uh, I, even last sun, Sunday, like, or Saturday, when we went down to play in Clare, my former club, Newmarket and Fergus, who I played with, they had the red carpet, the red world out for us, gave us a great reception, gave us the pitch, you know, wanted to do anything they could for us. And there's a great relationship between Wexford and Clare, to be honest with you. Why wouldn't there be? Because we've no, you know, we've no animosity with them. So I'm sorry Clare, Clare lost, but I'm absolutely thrilled for Wexford that we won. And I think they've been great champions. And they can say what they like about Davy, and they can give out, and lots of people hate Davy for every X, Y, and Z. He's a driven hurling man, and he drove that team to an Ireland final last year. I hope it doesn't all end in tears for him down there eventually, but like, and they're great chaps. They're wonderful hurlers. They're brilliant hurlers. The only thing today was they were a little bit too fond of trying to foul us uh, and they got, they, had to, they got punished for it stopping a score like Lee Moog and trying to stop us building up a momentum so look at we deserve to win and I'm delighted we won 15 on 15 because that really makes it special and just on last year's minor Liam it must have been particularly gratifying for you to have two players to come so quickly yeah. from our minor set up that doesn't normally happen it hasn't happened in Wexford I'd say for a number of years but it was great to see two players come to yeah. the, to, I mean come to a, a level of experience that, that yeah. we wouldn't have dreamed of this time well no year. that's not a coincidence these lads have been with us since they're 16 years of age and we have a blueprint written for Hurling as a Hurling Development Committee which uh, you know you know all the people involved in it and part of the blueprint was to have a system whereby we'd have a pathway to progress for young boys from 16 years upwards and then we had a, we held a group meeting between all of the selectors last year in Ferry Carrick Hotel some people were upset that we did it but the reason was to get people like the 21 manager to talk to the senior manager and the minor manager and identify talent the problem with talent it's it's not talent that's the most important. It's the ability to identify talent and say, right, they can do it. 
when I was involved with Liam, I was absolutely certain that these boys were ready to play. They had those years of experience behind them, and they're fresh and they're young, and they were ready for it. But if they hadn't got that bit of, of grounding behind them, and if you don't have a plan to get these players developed in a proper, organised manner, they can't go out and do this. So it's not really an accident they did that. And by the way, we have two or three in the subs are in the panel that are that far behind those guys, and they're coming too. Yeah, they're and I guarantee you one thing, there's a few lads on our panel that you won't be long before you'll see them lining out and doing exactly the same as the boys did now, because they know where their destiny lies, and they've been on that path now for a few years, and we need to keep that path going, because the thing that disappoints me is that we are a proud Hurling County, right? But we have failed the game of Hurling by not continuously being focused on development and, you know, keep the thing going, keep it going, keep it going. And we need to do that. Now is our chance. We're getting a chance again, so we've got to go and do it. Yeah. And finally, Wexford in, and other counties in the provincial venues, Liam, could you ever beat an atmosphere like we saw in Wexford Park tonight? I mean, I, I've long been saying that provincial venues are the way to go. Don't yeah. be bringing the yeah. Wexfords and Dublins yeah. to Crow Park or yeah. the Wexford. Yeah. That was just the most incredible experience. Tonight, yeah, well, I, I would go behind the goals for the matches and like to be in the terrace and listen to people and they're, you know, you're thinking to yourself, you need a defibrillator for some of them up there. They're all getting in an awful state. Uh, I don't get into a state, funnily enough. I don't know why I don't, but I don't. But it was a fantastic to sense the atmosphere all around you. And I have never, and I'm an old guy now, and I have never been in Wexford Park to see it full like this. And Wexford people chanting in Wexford. Look, it was absolutely exhilarating. And I'm going to go to bed tonight. I'm going to sit up all night and think about it. <laughs> I'd say Mary would be delighted to hear oh, that. She's under the couch at home, God love her. <laughs> Listen, thanks very much, Liam, okay, and well done tonight. Thanks, Tom. Thanks.